Hi, this is Steve from Hobby Town in Orland Park. Uh, we're going to do an unboxing of a new uh, buggy from Kyosho. This is their DBX VE version 2.0. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the box and show you what we got inside. There we go. Okay, we've got our instruction manual and it has the decals in there. One of the nice things is it's got two different sets of decals. So you've got two different color schemes that you can go with. They give you both with that. So that's included in there and the instruction manual. Go ahead and we'll get the buggy out of the box here. Okay. There's the buggy. We've got our transmitter in this little box. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the transmitter. Okay. This is a Kyosho 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, it's got um, frequency hopping spread spectrum. It's got a lot of nice easy to see and easy to use adjustments on there. You can see you've got your throttle trim, you've got your steering trim, you've got your endpoint adjustments for your steering and your throttle, and you've got dual rate. You've also got your reversing switches here. Nice little short, basically no antenna here. Um, battery wise, takes four AA batteries. So this is the 2.4 radio that comes with the buggy. As for the buggy itself, as you can see, here's the, the body that comes with it. You can like I said, accessorize it to your choice of whatever decals you want to put on it. Take the body off of it. One of the things that you'll notice right away that's kind of unique and different is it has the cover for to protect it from mud, dirt, and moisture and that. Um, that protects a lot of the sensitive electronics in there. So we'll go ahead and we'll remove that cover and show you what we got behind that cover. And you can see that you've got um, your Orion speed control with a fan on it. You've got an Orion uh, brushless motor on it. You can see you've got a metal cased servo uh, here. That's the Kyosho servo. And then you've got your battery tray um, for your uh, LiPo battery that you can put in this would probably recommend you run a 2 or a 3S LiPo on this one. This uh, buggy is a little unique in that this buggy uh, is kind of a hybrid between A scale and 10 scale. Some of the parts are A scale, such as it uses a true A scale wheel, but the size of it is closer to a 10 scale. So a lot of the suspension arms are more of a 10 scale size. So you can take a look at that's kind of a combination of both. You've got some nice uh, aluminum uh, caps on your shocks. They're threaded shocks and you can adjust those pretty easily. Got that on the front and back. Uh, one of the nice things with the arms on this is the front arms and the back arms are the same. So if you break an arm, front and rear are the same. Top and bottom are different, but front to back are the same. So when you buy a pack of them, it doesn't matter which one it goes on. You don't have to worry about that. So that makes it kind of neat, nice to deal with that. Take a look at the bottom. You've got an aluminum chassis on the bottom. And uh, pretty simple to work on. It is Phillips screws to work on, so you don't re require any special hex tools. Um, so that's what well, most of the screws on this are Phillips. Okay. Uh, just to give you a comparison, uh, this is a 10 scale short course truck, just to get kind of an idea size wise it is. Um, you know, lengthwise it's pretty close to uh, a short course truck in size. Uh, length and width they're pretty much almost identical but again you are running the taller larger um, a scale buggy wheels on it so just to give you a little comparison on this okay uh, so this truck is $369.99 it's pretty much uh, ready to run you will need a battery for it you can choose whatever battery you like you can go with a, a two or three cell lipo or you can go with a six or seven cell nickel metal hydride of your choice uh, you'll need a battery charger with it as well, but the radio is included and the truck is fully assembled. just needs the battery to be charged and installed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do another little video on this and show you exactly how this thing runs off the truck. That's what I'm talking about. 41.9. Thank you.